Let's look at the phase retarder again. But this time thinking of it as a device, let's think about the specifications we put. So if the slow axis, which we label SA, and the fast axis, which we label FA, are along the horizontal and vertical direction, and for a device you always put them along the horizontal and vertical, then you would write the Jones matrix like this, E um, to the J epsilon horizontal, 0, 0, E to the J epsilon vertical, where the epsilon is the phase shift each individual one gets, just like we described on the last board. Right. The horizontal and vertical phase shift. And you can see why this is the general matrix. If you multiply this by, say, 1, 1 or 1, 0, E horizontal is going to be multiplied by the horizontal component, and E vertical is going to be multiplied by the vertical component. So that's the, the general matrix for any phase retarder. Um, but then we classify them by the wave, sh wave shift. phase shift. Okay, so you could talk about the first one. Uh, the famous one here is the quarter wave plate. Where delta phi is a quarter wave, is pi over 2. Um, what this will do is it converts linear to circular polarization. So let's draw that real quick and imagine how that would work. So you would have, say, your wave plate like this and optical axis going into it like that. And let's have the quarter wave plate with the SA, the slow axis, vertical, and the fast axis, horizontal, like that. All right, so then this would be... Um, there's a slow axis. And remember, slow and fast literally means the, the phase velocity of the wave. So this is the higher index here. And this is the low index here. Right? It's the speed of light over n. So if this is the slow axis, this way the, the wave actually travels more slowly. So let's think about what would the matrix look like for that. Well, let's see. So we said it's e to the j, and we have the horizontal shift and the vertical shift. We want to end up with a total shift of pi over 2. So each one has a shift of pi over 4. So what we're going to do is have e to the j minus j pi over 4 here and e to the j pi over 4 here. And that way the difference between vertical and horizontal, if you go multiply them out, you can see it's pi over 4 minus minus pi over 4. It's a pi over 2 phase shift. And we write it that way because then you can make it look nice by pulling out um, an e to the minus or e to the plus, e to the uh, minus j pi over 4, and this goes 1, 0, 0, and then you divide that by a minus that, um, it's e to the 0, and then there's a j there. So this is the more normal version of the matrix to use for a quarter wave plate, and this is just an amplitude component that you don't really need. It really, you can just go 1, 0, 0, j. And if you multiply 1, 0, 0, j times polarized light, say 1, 1, or, or, or the right kind of polarized light, you can see it's going to give you um, polarized light, or it's going to give you circularly polarized light. So this is for a quarter wave plate, slow axis vertical. Okay, And you can imagine, if we wanted to just make sure you have everything, we could give you a quarter wave plate, so e to the plus j pi over 4, and then this one is, yeah, 1, 0, 0, minus j. This is a quarter wave plate, SA uh, horizontal. So that's uh, the Jones matrix for it. Now let's see what it can do.